Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Hero soldier gets sick thank you after working day and night helping Hurricane Florence victims. There's a certain type of person that joins the military typically. They are usually givers and helpers. These are individuals who are willing to sacrifice everything to help others and protect them. Even when they are not on duty, many times you will see these same people volunteer during a crisis like Hurricane Florence. Such is the case with a North Carolina Army medic who voluntarily gave 10 days of his off time to help those impacted by the storm. This hero soldier worked day and night to help victims during and after the hurricane. Unfortunately, when he got home he was the recipient of a sick thank you when he found that his house had been raided by looters. National Guardsman Luis Ocampo, 24, told the media that these criminals literally cleaned out his home in Charlotte. According to officials, the thieves took a gun, a large TV, a gaming system, a laptop Ocampo uses for schoolwork and even some specialty coins and jewelry. When Ocampo says they cleaned out his house he wasn't wrong and it looks like they had a snack while doing it. Since most people evacuated for the storm, the looters weren't afraid of being seen or caught so they probably took their sweet time. What's even worse is that Ocampo lives with his girlfriend and one-year-old son there. Thank goodness they were not home when this happened. I hate to think what would have happened to them. Ocampo could have lost a lot more than material things. I don't know how people can be so terrible, said Ocampo's girlfriend, Kaylee Finch. I don't either, but some people are just plain evil and have no soul or conscience. Something like this brings the worst out in certain individuals. If I was, too, do that to someone, I feel like I would feel really bad afterwards. I would be like, I see this family struggling and I just messed up their life even worse, said Finch. It's irreplaceable. It's not something you can get back, said Finch. Beyond losing the valuables, Finch said her heart also breaks for her hard-working guardsman. He does a lot for everybody. He always wants to make sure that everybody gets help, she said. The family says that they are considering an alarm system for their home. I think that is a great idea. You can get very good ones for very little these days. A big old dog wouldn't hurt either. They suspect that the looters broke into the house through the back window. From there, they ransacked the place. The Charlotte Mecklenburg police are investigating the break-in and theft. Currently, they have no suspects. When the community where Ocampo lives heard about what happened, they proceeded to pitch in and help him and his family recover from all of this. That's what neighbors and friends do. They take care of their fellow neighbors in their hour of need. A woman who worked with Ocampo in the National Guard named Mary Elise Capron organized a GoFundMe page to help this hero medic. People wanted to give to a man who had given so much to them. The initial goal was $5,000, but by this afternoon, the page had raised just about $15,000. Not too bad at all. I am honored to know him and cannot believe something so terrible could happen to someone so dedicated to the service, his family and school, Capron wrote on the fundraising page. Here is the full text from GoFundMe. Thank you so much to all who have donated, your generosity and willingness to help a soldier in need is simply amazing. The goal set has now been surpassed almost three times as much. With the support from the unit, family, and friends Luis and I are confident he can come back from this and rebuild. We are so grateful for these donations beyond belief. We will soon be ending donations and hope that everyone understands. We do not want to take anyone's generosity for granted. Thank you so much again. May God bless you all. Wow. What a great friend Capron is and she is doing the right thing by not taking too much from people as well. I'm impressed. It's hard to imagine just how big a scumbag a person would have to be to loot another's home. Especially a soldier who is out helping others get through a life-changing catastrophe like Florence. I hope the police catch them and I am thrilled that at least some of what Ocampo lost will be restored. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.